ketchup one without. This is how you make garlic parmesan spam for a sandwich. I'm also going to show you how to do a thin slice spam for bacon or chips, hopefully. Alright, I was going to use this frying pan to cook a spam, do a spam cooking video in it, when I noticed that well, basically the factory coating is coming off and there's rust under it, which is unfortunate. Um, never had this happen with the cast iron pan before. Okay, now that's how it's supposed to look. You know, there's not uh, much going on there. I have two of these pans. I use them for frying eggs and stuff. Today we'll use them for frying, frying pan. Spam, not pan. Here we got some cans going over and over there. Some people are spam challenged in getting it out of the pan. I'm kind of challenged in keeping myself from getting whacked by the pan. Okay, that was successful. We didn't get cut or whacked. Like this. Now you've created air pockets. Ta-da! This is how I want it. I don't want to weigh it down. And I think uh, I'm just going to slice it for, uh, we're going to use hot dog buns on this sandwich. So we're just going to make some sort of what I consider a medium slice, not thin, not thick. It's still a little bit soft in the inside. We're going to put those on a hot dog bun with sauerkraut, kimchi sauerkraut and a little bit of mustard and a little bit of... Alright, let's recap this. I sliced the Spam somewhat medium thick slices. Smaller than my pinky. The hand I didn't use to handle the Spam is opening up the container. I'm going to get these close because we're just going to coat them and flip them. You don't want to put coating on over the pan, especially with cast iron skillets. It's kind of a messy, bad situation. I like to do it beforehand. And depending on how much garlic you enjoy, that's how heavy you coat it. Now we have this gourmet cheese in a can. Only the best Parmesan cheese for us. Don't buy that fresh crap, it's no good. If, it has a, if Parmesan cheese hasn't aged in a plastic can, it's just not the same. And be liberal with the coating because it's going to fall off. And you just pat it in too. Don't worry about flipping it over again. Got a big ball of cheese, just break it up. We're going to pull it on. Try to get the stuff to stick and go. And I probably should have added more oil first, but we're just going to get a little more coconut oil. Spread it out a little bit throughout the pan so we have plenty of oil. Coconut oil is a lot lighter than butter, so if you're using it like you would butter, you're actually going to need twice as much. If your hands are clean and you got coconut oil on you, you just rub the back of your hands. It's used for that. It's one of the most versatile oils in the world. It's great. There we go. It's starting to loosen up. So we check it and then do another three minutes. Not quite where I wanted it at, but that's pretty close. It's got a golden crisp to it. Alright, we cooked them for a couple of minutes. The temperature wasn't hot enough, so this one, the breading came off. Should have had more oil, should have had more 
uh, heat before I started the process will be fine. Should be it's not sticking to the pan much, so we're fine. Just gonna check this next one. And it's not like it's uh, bread cone, so it doesn't need to be fully coated to get the flavor in there. Alright, three minutes. And this is a brioche, 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 hot dog bun. And I'm going to show you how to turn it into a garlic bread hot dog bun real quick and easy using your oven. That was ham or Kirkland cooking oil spray. If you want, you can tap off the excess garlic, put it this side down in your preheated oven or an oven that's heated up for a minute already so you got the burner going and it'll turn it into garlic bread in about a minute. See how the other side looks. Well, maybe not on that one. Nice, that's what I was looking for. Ooh, a little bit on the dark side there. Perfect. This is going to have a little more garlic flavor to it because it got mo cooked. Scrape all your stuff off the center. Add a little bit more oil into the center. And get your next batch ready. Now I'm going to turn my electric stove down, my electric stove top down. Uh, there and which is between low first notch second notch careful that pan's hot we're really hot I'm gonna turn it down halfway and we're just gonna get this going Two minutes. Get that garlic in the oven. Lower rack. After I flip this, it'll probably be done. I thought this was about to. There we go. Let's see how this works. Some oil back over there. Yep, that's just about right. Nice. I'm excited about that one. Yes, that handle is hot. You should probably use a hot pad for that. I grew up in a farming and logging family, so I have an unusual pain tolerance. Bread. What does a bread look like? Yes. Yeah. Dang, good question. Bread looks like a nice, perfect golden brown. The oven got up to 125 degrees. Look at that. Mm. Garlic bread. That's simple. Seen it here on youtube.com slash Jimbo Jitsu. Alright, I like stone ground mustard, so I'm using this. If you like mayo instead, that would be a good choice. That's probably what my wife would use. I like the flavor. So I'll just go like that with my stone ground mustard, not tons of it. Now this here is a little kimchi. Basically carrots and kraut with some pepper sauce in it. About as hot as taco sauce. And that is plenty to give a nice crunch and an extra flavor to that Spam. Speaking of the Spam, it sounds like the Spam is now down. Mo crispy. 
Let me go. I'm gonna leave the ketchup off because it's spam, not hot dog. As soon as I get this basket. Garlic Parmesan Spam Sandwich with Kimchi Kraut and Grey Poupon Mustard. Man, that is good. I do not really care for Spam. This makes Spam good. If you guys are like got a spouse that loves Spam, this is a good trick where you can make it so it's tasty for you and they'll think you're a gourmet cook. But yeah, that's how I figured out how to make good Spam better Spam. It's okay to eat, but well, I forgot to tie it up. That's good. Thank you for watching, following, subscribing, clicking, like, and all those other wonderful things that people do to share the love. Peace, love, and prosperity, y'all. This video is dedicated to video game stream twitcher Sincakes. Check out his channel. He's a great twitcher. Twitch out. Peace, love, and prosperity. See y'all later, YouTube. Good.